So I wanted to do something a little bit different than the standard rifle videos and pistol videos I've been putting out lately. And I haven't touched a whole lot on shotguns, but still right now looking around the best deal that you can get in firearms are still shotguns. There are plenty of expensive shotguns, but there are plenty of really inexpensive shotguns as well. So this right here, this is the Citadel Warthog ATAC. It's a semi-automatic 12 gauge, 20 inch barrel, four round capacity in the tube. Um, it is a uh, chambered three inch Magnum and the gun itself, uh, also I should, I should, uh, mention it does have a, uh, chrome lined barrel as well. Length of pull is 13.6 inches. So it's not overly big. It's, it's pretty good. It fits me pretty well. Uh, it fits my wife as well. It has synthetic stocks and the overall weight is seven pounds. So there's my kind of rundown of the basic technical specs of this. So let's talk about the real deal here. So first off, the price, $199 is what I got this at. That was my motivation right there. I'm looking at this going, wait a minute, this is a semi-automatic shotgun for $199. That's pretty much the cost of a high point. Uh, and, and look at what I'm getting as far as capability over something like a high point. So I thought, you know what, I can't go wrong with this. So I bought it. Uh, I think the uh, average price on these uh, in this sporting goods store I was at was about 250 bucks, but they were having some sort of holiday sale or something. They dropped it down to 199 So I got it. I said, you know what? That's a heck of a deal. For a basic semi-automatic, it has the basic functions that most semi-automatics do. It has the bolt release, last round bolt hold open, it has an 870 style safety, uh, pretty easy loading gates, pretty easy to load, basic synthetic stocks there's nothing fancy there easy takedown uh the internals were nice and oiled when i took it apart there wasn't any gunk in there everything was nice and oiled the uh three chokes i think is kind of cool this uh, this is the cylinder choke right here but I also have the modified and full choke if i want and this right here just to show you i added this on this is an old nc star type of uh side saddle it's a velcro it attaches via velcro it's not the best side saddle. I've had this around for a little bit. I'm just putting it on here for now. I have some um, side saddle cards coming in. The kind of, they're the soft kind that you put on with Velcro and you can tear off and throw another one on. That's what I'm going to put on this. Uh, this is just until those come in. So in any case, this shotgun right here, and I'll just kind of pan in front of the camera so you get kind of a close view. The overall quality of it is pretty good. The worksmanship, everything, I... I you know, when I look at shotguns this cheap, I don't have a lot of expectations. I really don't. Uh, the Citadel has been around for a little bit. And, uh, you know, as far as what I've seen, it's always been kind of a shotgun that I've looked over. And maybe I should pay more attention to these budget shotguns. But I've looked over them. And it's because I see a lot of the pump action variants out there. So with the pump actions, I go, yeah, that's normally what you see for around a couple hundred bucks is a pump action type shotgun. And I go, eh, I've got pumps. No big deal to me. I don't really care. But when I saw this, I said, you know what? Hold on. Semi-automatic, four round, and the trigger looks to be pretty decent. The action looks to be pretty decent for 199 bucks. I got to I got to check this out. So this definitely drew my eye. As far as the balance, it balances good. Um, the action is pretty smooth, no issues there. Take apart, uh, the, the disassembly and reassembly is pretty straightforward, so there's no issues there. Um, I can tell it's not as refined as a higher, fancier shotgun, but I don't need it to be. So the use for this, what am I going to use this for specifically? This is gonna be self-defense and protection out in the uh, wilderness. So I think it's going to be really good for that. Overall first impressions, really good. I like the action. I like the quality uh, work done. For $199, I'm really impressed. Um, if it was a lot more expensive, I might say, yeah, they might want to change a few things. But for the price being offered, I'm really impressed. So in any case, uh, first impressions, really good. I'm going to do a lot more with this. Uh, I know there's a lot of YouTube videos out there, good and bad on these. So it'll be interesting once I get out and uh, start putting some rounds through. Some people say it's good to put some high brass rounds through it as you break it in. Um, I'm just going to try some low brass to see what happens. The standard field shot, see how it goes with that, and then just go from there. 
All right, thanks a lot for watching. Just wanted to show this to you. I thought it was really cool. 199 bucks for a dang semi-automatic. That's pretty damn good. So anyway, post your thoughts below. More to come. Thanks for watching.